So I've been driving myself a little crazy here over the last couple of days, trying to figure out plans for the future chicken coop here. It feels like I'm, I'm trying to fill two, two different worlds here. We've always really liked having a static coop. It's been great at all the manures in one place, so it's very easy to round that stuff up and be able to get it into compost. Really been wanting to get into making our chickens a little bit more mobile. Instead of us doing all the physical labor, picking up stuff, going and dumping it into the chicken coop run, just moving the chickens around, being able to let them put down the manure we want, clean up the things that we want. Uh, and let them do a bulk of the work. The thing I've really been looking at is Justin Rhodes Chick Shaw. I really like the idea how mobile that thing is. You can move a lot of chickens around really easy. I'm not particularly, there's a couple features on it I'm not really sold on. One is the thing's not insulated. I really think we need to look into doing some sort of insulation of a coop. However, as I start taking his plans and adjusting it and trying to figure that stuff out, it ends up just becoming this big honking tank. Uh, and it really starts d diminishing the, the mobility of that, that device. I've even toyed with the idea, I've been looking on Craigslist at some different hay wagons, maybe build like a static type coop on the top with a false floor with some screen on the bottom, uh, and then I could put some boards down and then we could do some thick um, layer of bedding down on the bottom in the winter. Uh, but you know, I, I keep finding myself getting hung up on a lot of this stuff, and I think what I'm gonna do is, I, we already have a static coop. It works just fine. I'm gonna make a few little minor improvements on it. But during the summer months, which is generally when we expand our flock out, I I, I, wanna, I wanna be able to use something much more mobile. So we're gonna just end up building Justin Rhodes Chick Shaw. We'll probably make a few little minor tweaks on it, but not play with it too much. Looking through his plans, it looks pretty good. So ideally what I would like is to be able to expand our flock out so we can raise several birds for meat during the summer months and then uh, shrink our flock down to, to a pretty small quantity. And then what we do is we utilize those birds to get eggs for the following spring and then hatch out our flock for the following year. So sort of this, this cycle. Of course, what we can do is then just move them back into the static coop for the winter months. So I think that that's the plan. I think we're going to go with the Justin uh, Rhodes chick shot here and uh, put this together and see how things turned out. I'm pretty excited. <laughs> So you can see I'm putting that one inch welded wire in here. There's two strips going right now on, on this whole entire unit. When I was going through Justin's plans, I didn't really notice, maybe I just missed it, but I didn't see any specification on the size rolls of wire that you should get. I ended up buying 24 inch wide. So you got one strip there, one there, and then if you look here on this last run, uh, once I actually line this up here, you'll see that it's gonna be a, a perfect little match here. I might have to just cut just a little bit off. And then we just run the perches right through the seams uh, to close things up. So one thing I would definitely recommend is pre-drilling these. You can see this one started to crack a little and then I got smarter here and actually started pre-drilling them. I'm pretty happy with how things are looking. It's pretty nice and tight, except for on this far end, as I kind of worked my way down and got everything secured, you can see there's a little bit of a wave here. So I'm going to purposely make this side the back side because the nesting boxes will sit over here and will help hide some of that.
putting these posts in here. They, I don't think it says in the instructions. What I did is I measured two feet out, and then there's another two foot, two foot, since we're dealing with six feet. And I find it a lot easier, once you get the angle all figured out here, um, to actually connect it up here on the top, then just take a level, and uh, get things all squared away and then secure down. So we got the area where the nesting boxes are gonna go done back there. Next thing we gotta do is actually get some of this uh, welded wire set up here and going around the front end of this coop on both sides. I think, you know, when I was looking at the plans, I wasn't quite sure how much, I knew how much I needed, but I didn't know if it needed to be a continuous piece. So I ended up buying a pretty long 25 footer. You can buy like a 10 foot or maybe even five foot uh, rolls at a much cheaper price but when it becomes a big long continuous roll like this the price tends to go up a little bit more so that might be something if you're going to build one of these you can and utilize a smaller size roll and cut the cost a little bit the next thing i got to do it's probably going to take me a couple days but i'm actually going to have to order up tires i've been looking everywhere for these things the biggest i can find at any store around us is 15 inches and i want something much larger than that i'm thinking 24 26 inches so I've been doing a little digging around. Can I just get the front tires off, off of a bike here? Uh, it tends to be a little bit expensive when I've been looking. The other thing that actually seems like a pretty good idea because you move away from the bike tires that actually have tubes, just that's another thing to pop, go, go bad. But I've actually been thinking about wheelchair uh, tires. I've seen you can get two, two of them online for a relatively cheap price, so that might be an option as well. So. We're making some progress here. We'll have to pick this up here in a couple days, but I'm excited about the, the progress that we've at least got done. So I'm pretty excited about the progress we made today um, and really excited about the idea of really making these chicks go to work for us and uh, uh, see how things work out. I'm, I am really looking forward to that and I'm, I'm hoping this is a pretty good fit here. So I appreciate you guys coming hanging out with me today. Hope you guys enjoyed the video and we'll see you on the next one. Thanks for watching.